Hi guys, <coughs> I've spent the day at Mum's today, well, not really a whole day, I think I was picked up at just gone 11.30, so the best part of the day anyway. I've been home about an hour-ish, uh, it's now ten past nine, um, hello Nemo, just decided he's going to sit on my lap, anyway. Um, if I just rotate around, look, the wood, it's gone. I did take it over to Mum's and me and my stepdad have spent the afternoon uh, trimming up all the wood I'd cut, making sure the ends are nice and flat because, as I've said before, I can't cut straight to save my life. Always get a wonky cut. I could, uh, cut across a piece of wood that way nice and straight but it's always the cut through there that would always end up at an angle like that I don't know why I've always done it so uh, we u he used the um, chop saw and uh, leveled off all the ends for me and made sure everything was all the exact same length then we assembled the table and the legs and made sure everything fit and uh, he's numbered the legs for me so I know which where they got to go when they get back here. Now originally we were um, going to take the table apart, bring it back here in bits and then I was going to assemble it up here in the flat but we've decided that what we've done, we've built the tabletop, cut the ply to size and um, We've actually used two sheets of ply because it was only thin. So uh, we thought we'd go two just to make the top a bit thicker and a bit stronger. Um, so he's done all that. He wrote all the edges off of the, ta of the um, tabletop for me so it's all nice and level. And then we um, put it up on a couple of trestles and um, it's being painted. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to bring it home tomorrow. It depends if we gloss it or not. Um, it would look nice glossed. Because the paint we've used is actually um, radiator paint. Water-based radiator paint for radiators like that. Uh, and that's been watered down even more so he could use it in a spray gun. Um, but it's actually created a very nice base. It looks nice as it is. But if I want to gloss it, it's created a very nice base coat. Um, so I'm going to check in my shed, I may do that actually after I've uh, done making this vlog, go and check to see if um, I've got a can up on the shelf of gloss, because I'll just give it a nice finish. But uh, of course if I gloss it, that takes quite a while to dry, so I may not actually get to bring it back here until later in the week, which isn't a problem. You know. I'm, It'd be nice to get all this done, but I'm not in a hurry. I mean, I suppose I could actually, during the week, you know, to, to pull that computer lot out up in that corner and pull that out and swap these for the coffee, the, yeah, the coffee table and whatnot in the bedroom and all the Lego trays and bring back in here ready you catch my drift, basically put this and that in the bedroom and then bring that table with all the Lego containers and whatnot in here ready, ready to be sorted out up here. Uh, speaking of Lego, I went and got some uh, more of these drawers today, I bought four, £1.49 for a one, two, three, four, five. They're quite handy, if you've got a workshop you could put all your little bits in one of them and they stack just like that. They're designed so they um, stack. There's a little groove on the lids there so that should. The um, top of this computer desk is a bit slippery but yeah there we go. <laughs> so you could use that for multiple things. If you're someone who's in the uh, sewing for example you could uh, put all your sewing stuff in some of those and stack them at your work desk or whatever. 
or whatever hobby you're into, electronics. Oh, that reminds me, uh, I've uh, taken the off cuts from when we made the tabletop, and uh, I'm going to make a couple of uh, plaques, if you like. I'm going to do one with the processors, and one I'm going to put um, probably PCI and video cards on. I'll put an arrangement of those on, because I've got still got those um, video cards that don't work, so I can soon throw one of those on, a bit of hot glue, which I forgot to get when I got paid, so I'm just going to have to wait till Thursday. Well, it's just a nice little sort of artsy-fartsy project. I could hang them on the wall somewhere, could hang them underneath. Oh no, they would have to hang in the bedroom, because I am going to turn this into the Lego room, which is why the computers are actually going into the bedroom. Just so I don't have a mix in each room, because at the moment I have got a mix. You know, I've got computers and Lego in here, and computers and Lego in the bedroom. So, as I've got more computers in here than Lego, I figured I would turn this into the technology room. Oh, pardon me. Um, I was going to build a table to build my Lego dioramas on, but I figured that would be plenty big enough for up here, because I'm never really do anything super large when I build anything, so I thought I might as well just continue using that coffee table, so that'll go back in the lounge and will be my diorama display table. Uh, get some more of them tubs Thursday as well, I hope. And I want to sort some more of these small Lego elements out in the separate colours. I haven't decided... Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do the uh, transparent pieces next. Because uh, that would make life a heck of a lot easier. Because again, I've got all the colours in one tray. And because they're so small, it's so fiddly, rummaging around in a tray when they're as full as mine, they get flicked everywhere, and so I figured I'm just going to separate them into their separate colours and put them in those drawers. Which uh, I will do with the other two that are currently in the um, bag. There. It's actually weird, because when I look at my finger, Without looking at the camera, my finger's nowhere near that carrier bag. <laughs> but when I look through the camera, it's actually pointing directly at it. Ooh, the magic of cameras. <laughs> anyway. So I suppose I've had quite a productive day today. Uh, I've been picked up quite early in the morning. Uh, that's only because my sister's being picked up from work. So, you know, to save petrol and to save going to and from all the time, it's easier to get me and my sister at the same time. So I've got to be up early for, well, technically no no official reason, but, you know, it's not like we're doing a car boot or anything tomorrow. Because the weather is supposed to be crap again, so... I don't particularly want to faff around loading the car up for it to uh, piss down with rain. I mean, I'll see what it's doing when we get picked up, and I'll ask Mum in the morning if she wants to do one, but I'm quite happy to sit at Mum's. I've got a few things I need to take over. My stepdad wants... I've got a length of that wood I got left over in the shed. He wants me to bring that, because he wants to make a couple of um, rails for the roof bars to go between the two roof bars, so it'd be easier to tie things... Um, to the roof. That actually reminds me I need to get my ratchet strap out. I do have a little one that would be perfect for that. It's the whole reason I, I was actually going to throw it out, to be honest. Because I never use it. But uh, something said, no, keep hold of it, just in case. And it should be... <sighs> ah, that connector block... I just saw in there has reminded me that I need to take a connector block as well. What bike light? <laughs> Get off. Hang on a minute, just bear with me. Ooh, it was actually hooked through the actual bracket. 
Alright, let me go down there. And there you go. We should be able to uh, strap that down. I've got bungee cords uh, in the back of the car as well. So I didn't know if I was going to have to tie those long pieces to the bar that's already on the roof or not. But they actually slid in the car. Just slid them in from the boot or from the back and uh, down between the front seats and into the passenger footwell. Right. So, there's one ratchet strap. I need a connector block because I've got some electrical work to do in the kitchen. Um, we changed the kitchen light from a pendant light to some halogen down lighters. We put two up. That's not quite bright enough in that corner of the kitchen, so I'm going to put a third one between the two I've already put up. And uh, because I spurred the power off from the old ceiling rows, I can't really, I don't really want to push the ceiling rows up into the ceiling. So uh, I'm going to take the ceiling rows down and terminate all three lights into this. I think that's something like a 20 amp block, so. That's more than enough for three halogen lights. Let's terminate them into that and push it up into the hole in the wall. Stepdad will cut the hole for me and I'll, uh, I'll um, terminate the connections. Turning power off, of course. I don't work live. I learned that the hard way. And that's it. I had to learn that the hard way two or three times before I decided, yeah, better turn the power off when I work on things. Unless I need the power on to troubleshoot, a, you know, a faulty appliance or something. Because sometimes you do need the power on. Um, I didn't make a hole in the back of the bench for this cable. Because I forgot to measure it. Uh, and I've just realised he's pre-drilled the holes to mount it on the wall for me. I may have to move it because of that power outlet. Depends where the mountain hole is. Actually, I might miss it. Because with British wiring regulations, um, cables that feed power outlets like that have to enter the socket from the middle. So, somewhere here. And then go straight up the wall and into the ceiling. They're not allowed to go down below the socket, and they're not allowed to go in buried in the wall from either side or at an angle. That's to um, reduce the risk of idiots drilling into an electric cable, which I did many, many years ago, many years ago, because I am one of them idiots that didn't think to check at the time, but I was a lot younger. I check now. Um, there's two ways I can check. If you've got the device, like the, the um, one of those finder devices for water pipes and electric cables and whatnot, you can use one of those. Don't think my pen here will uh, pick it up. No, it won't go through the wall. No, it's too deep in the wall. But uh, what I can do. Just turn the power off to the sockets and drop the front off that power outlet and uh, to see where the cable enters, just to double check, which I probably will do. Uh, as far as this cable go, I am actually thinking before I put the table in, because like I said, if we gloss the table, it's going to need time to dry, so I probably, probably won't be bringing it home tomorrow. Um, but I have decided, because these are metal, that I am going to change this two core cable from that three core down there, and I'll reroute the cable so it'll go around the bench basically, along the back of the bench. Uh, it's a lot easier than trying to faff around, putting, putting holes through it and whatnot. So. That's what I'm going to do with that. So I thought I might as well just upgrade the cable while I'm at it. Uh, prob probably upgrade the whole lot. Uh, 
so it's all earthed, because it isn't actually earthed at the minute. I didn't really bother because I thought, ah, it's only me, I know not to touch it, I trust my own wiring, but I sort of figured, yeah, may I don't know, maybe I'll just reroute that cable and hang a socket up on the wall, I don't know. You know, if I get a bell off these lights, it's my own fault for not earthing it. <laughs> That's the way I see it. You know, I wouldn't let anyone else touch them, just in case. Um, so yeah, I think I will actually do that. Ooh, I've got to move those videotapes. And the DVDs. Oh, well, I'll go in the bedroom. I'll chuck them in the bedroom for now. But, uh, I may even wait until I've got the table in so I can get the um, Lego trays straight into here and straight into position. Lego containers, I should say, and whatnot. And then I can just put the computer stuff straight into position in the bedroom. Instead of having to keep moving everything a half a dozen times. Might be easier, actually, if I do that. Anyway. Uh, that doesn't mean I'll have to reroute all the Ethernet cable for those PCs. And I'm going to have to put in an extra power outlet on the wall in the bedroom. Uh, I can't remember if I've talked about this in the previous videos. But uh, what I will do, because I can't really hack into the ring main, I'll, there's a power outlet down there, and I'll spur off of that, and by that I'll mean I'll put a fused spur on the wall, beside the socket, and then come along, and put an another one or two double outlets up here somewhere, with a bit of trunking going between. Uh, but I can do that sometime in the future. That'll be another future project. So, that's a bit of an explanation on what I'm, I plan to do in the future, and what's coming up pretty soon. Um, so yeah. That's about it. I've not really done much else today. Um, well, you know the job I've got to do over at Mum's at some point in the future, when my stepdad's cleaned it all up and repainted it, is a um, triple garden lantern. You know, one of those um, garden lights which is styled like an old-fashioned street lamp. You know, with the lantern on, on a aluminium post and this one's got three lamps on the top and he wants to clean it all up and mount it in the garden so that's a job for me at some point in the future uh, again I don't know when because he's got a job for the landlord to do he's got to uh, sort out the landlord's rotavator he's, he's already rebuilt one Resprayed it, rebuilt it, stripped the engine down, put new bearings on the crankshaft, put it all back together. Runs perfectly now. <laughs> so, I think he plans to sell it because he does, hasn't got a use for it. Um, but yeah, my uh, stepdad's quite practical. He loves doing things like that. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and. Uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video soon. Bye.